Okay, so he's really wrong. That feels really wrong. Something's really wrong. So, <laughs> happy five year anniversary to us. Sure, yeah. This is as of today, June 19, and here we are stranded on the side of the road of a rainy highway here in New York. Yeah. <sighs> With a coach that was driving, but I don't think it wants to drive very far. Well, we recently had a really interesting experience driving through New York where we had a mechanical breakdown which left us in our tow vehicle on the side of the road. We didn't quite figure out what was wrong with it at the time and then figured out later that evening, but let's take you back to when it happened. It's never a sign to get excited about seeing driving in an RV is a sign pointing to New York. I know that would be exciting to a lot of people, but to me that just feels like a stressful drive, don't you? It sounds stressful as a driver of a big coach, yes. How do you feel about driving through uh, New Jersey and New York in a coach on 40 foot motorhome? Mostly it's fine, you just gotta be on top of it. You gotta be engaged. Less than five minutes after crossing the border into New York, the coach started shaking violently and we ended up on the side of the road. Welcome to New York, honey. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, something's really wrong. Something's really wrong. We were just driving along and it felt like the road, didn't it, hon? It felt like yeah. the road was weird and then all of a sudden, like how's it how would you describe it? It's going well, it's, it's tweaking. At the coach is tweaking. Like this is going duh, duh, duh. it just crossed the state line into New York. Uh, and it's raining and the coach feels like there's something seriously wrong, like majorly wrong, like chassis wrong. Something's very wrong. Yeah. Very wrong. Because it's just shaking and wobbling. It's almost like there's no tire, but none of my tires are showing bad. So... I feel like more yeah. than a tire to me. Yeah, yeah it feels like the wheel's wobbling or... Yeah, I feel, yeah, everything's right with that. That's, that screaming noise is just the hazard lights. Saying anything, I'll be saying. No. Went outside, don't see anything obvious, but the coach just is wobbling. I don't, I mean. Show how it's doing. Because it's making a big thumping sound and it's it's rocking a little bit. It's like there was something with suspension. At first, I thought it was just like a tire that was bad, but you know, I look at my tire pressure monitoring system and all of them are still showing fine. So, they're all still showing their normal PSI, so it doesn't make any sense to me so far. So we have to work out a plan right now because this is not a safe area where we are right now. Mark's got on safety gear, he put all of the safety cones out. Uh, we're in the coach, we probably should get out of the coach. A lot of semis going by, which is very reminiscent of the time we broke down with Rocky in yeah. Phoenix. I probably need to call roadside assistance but I'm thinking maybe what we should do is look at the map and see is there another off ramp or something very close by. So I'm sitting in this wider shoulder right now then I'll I can be take my time be calm look at the GPS and see if there's a space that's very close by that I could limp off of the interstate so it'd be a safer place to hook up a tow and to be able to look at this a little bit more thoroughly. Unhook so, the tow. Unhook our tow. Yeah. 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 And oh, we'll hook up a tow, hook, hook us up, up to a tow truck. I see what yeah, you mean. Sorry. So we'll see. We'll have a look at some GPS and see if there's something nearby. <laughs> Just got to get off at this next exit. There's a nice, big parking lot. Look at all how big that parking lot is. Huge. Yeah. We'll limp over there, see what happens. And, uh, hopefully it still keeps driving. Yeah, hopefully it keeps driving. At least it's still running. I'll go grab my cones and then we'll <laughs> limp along now that I have a, a 
plan to get off the highway because this is really unsafe right here in the rain on the side of the highway with lots of traffic. So let's do it. It's shaking bad. It's just the rumble. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh. It's just the rumble. <laughs> What's the coach? Yeah, the rumble strips are bad. It seems okay this speed. It's fine right now. Maybe it was the road. Could be, because it happened when I got on that overpass and it seems so awful. New York Thruway, 87. So this could be a false alarm and we hope so. It's totally fine. Really? Yeah. I'm getting off, but it feels totally fine right now. Talk about a stressful moment. Like, I was really stressed. Yeah. Mark was stressed but calm. Great parking lot. Do you want to go do some more turns again? See if you can get the noise happening again? Being in a safer environment in the parking lot, we were able to take our time and really have a look at the coach and the tow vehicle and see if we could find anything at all that was wrong. Go for a drive now and see if this is happening again. That's really weird because that was really freaky on the highway. I mean, I, I my only thought is that the expansion joints on that off on that ramp set it into a pattern and it was wobbling and it was having trouble breaking free of the pattern. But I don't know. I, don't know. I guess we'll onward, onward and forward. It's good practice for being uh, calm under Pressure. problems. Yeah. Now let's see if we can get back on the road without dealing with that. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of traffic. We weren't able to find anything, so we jumped back onto the road, and we actually stayed on the highway for a couple hundred more miles, another three hours, and everything seemed fine. And then once we got to our final destination, we we're able to figure out what we think went wrong. Whatever, as long as it's working again. That's the that's 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 my philosophy on this coach. As long as it works, we'll just keep crossing our fingers and driving. <laughs> <laughs> Super nice bridge. Much better than the one we passed a few <laughs> miles ago that sent our coach into a dizzy fit. The coach seemed to continue driving just fine, but the delay meant that we ended up in peak hour traffic. Five year anniversary on the road. <laughs> we really should have thought about a better way to, <laughs> to, celebrate. to celebrate. Check out the boats. Not that I'm interested in getting a boat. We made it to our destination for the night, a Walmart parking lot, to take another look. So once we got settled at the Walmart and I went to go disconnect the Jeep from the motorhome, that's when I was really able to put two and two together of what went wrong. Our Jeep is a 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk and it has been known to have something called a death wobble. Basically a death wobble is that the... Sounds pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, it sounds scary. But well, it's, it's scary when you're feeling and do you're it. Is it is scary when yeah. you're experiencing it. What happens is the steering starts to turn back and forth and then it starts to go faster and faster which then makes the Jeep wobble back and forth. And it can get so violent that it actually starts to make the motorhome or other vehicle that's towing the Jeep start to wobble as well. And it hit just the right angle to start that death wobble. The Jeep started wobbling, which in turn started the coach wobbling, and that's what caused the issue. I jumped onto YouTube and found a video of somebody towing a Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, and both of them are shaking with the wobble. Take a look at this. The footage isn't great quality, but it will give you an idea of what this actually looks like and feels like. And this death wobble is something we knew about before we bought the Jeep, and but we also were comfortable buying the Jeep because we knew there was an aftermarket fix for it. We didn't actually install that aftermarket fix right away. We bought the Jeep up in the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. I think near Portland, Oregon, and we drove all the way down to Denver, Colorado to get that installed. 
without an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the aftermarket installation and that was about 500 bucks. And then we proceeded to drive another 17,000 miles towing that Jeep and still no problem. No problem. This was yep. the one occurrence we've had in 20,000 20 miles of in 20 travel months. in 20 months. Yeah. So it's not like it's something that happens all the time. It's just kind of the perfect storm of events that created it. What happened that day though, we were in a lot of stop and go traffic in the New York, New Jersey area. This Jeep is notorious for draining the batteries quickly. And with all that stop and go, it would drain it even faster. Mm -hmm. And so what eventually happened is the battery in the Jeep had died. So the aftermarket installation that prevents the death wobble was no longer able to function because the battery was dead. It felt so scary. <laughs> it was awful. For, I'm, I'm actually glad we've experienced now because now we know what to expect and and we can speak to it from experience. Right. But I sure hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, I definitely would like to avoid having that happen again. <laughs> but if it ever does happen again, and for those of you, if you ever have it happen to you, basically all you need to do is stop your vehicles. Come to a complete mm -hmm. stop. And mm -hmm. when you start driving again, it should be fine. I would recommend continuing to somewhere that's safe to stop and maybe even consider disconnecting the Jeep and drive it separately for a bit to charge the battery back up. If you're thinking about getting a Jeep, don't panic. This shouldn't have to be a reason for you not to get one as a tow vehicle. We still love this car and we have no plans on changing it, despite the fact we had this experience because we know what happened at the aftermarket mod that was supposed to stop that happening wasn't activated because of the dead battery in the Jeep. Yeah. And speaking of that dead battery, that was also really glad I had my NOCO battery right. jump starter because I've used that quite a bit actually because I've had the mm -hmm. battery die a number of times since then. Right. So it's five years old now, the Jeep battery. We really need to replace that. Well, yeah. Next it's time. Week. If you've had an experience with the death wobble or you're concerned about it, feel free to put your questions and comments down below. So whether you tow a Jeep or you're planning to tow a Jeep or not, we hope you still got something out of this video because breakdowns, real or uh, false alarms as we had, can happen to anyone and how you deal with it is what matters. So we've got a lot more detail about this situation over at the blog rvlove.com. We'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, check that out. We've also got a free safety checklist that we created last time. We had three breakdowns in a month with our previous RV. We're going to put the link to that down below as well. All right, well, thanks so much for watching today. Until next time, we'll see you on the road and hopefully not on this side of the road. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. <laughs>